Happy two year anniversary of the channel. Are you actually going to post this on the two year anniversary? I mean, sure, yes. Why not? It seems like a thing I'm probably going what to the, do. What if the two year anniversary is a Thursday? What? But what if it's a day when we don't normally post? I, I mean, would I'd be able to know, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose. The point is that uh, I say that, hopefully that I, we have stuff to stall until... Wow, even the preview just shows how the guts back stuff... It's just so hard. But... Yeah, I've played that, and then I stopped playing the game. <sighs> well, either way... Wait, I thought we, you played that, the and then the you played science, Time Man stage, and then you stopped playing the oh, game. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I've, I've played other stages, but that stage is definitely the one that made me say, Nah, I'm good. <laughs> well... Either way, we've finally, we're, well, I say finally, but we technically played Mega Man 1 for our first playthrough, and then we played Mega Man Wily's Revenge, which was Mega Man 1 again, but slightly different. And now we're playing Mega Man Powered Up, which is Mega Man 1 again, but very different. Like with voice acting, voice acting that doesn't want to make me tear out my brainstem, go to the nearest four-way intersection and skip rope with it. So basically, what you're saying is that after two years, the channel hasn't changed at all. No, I'm saying that now we're powered up. See, right there, it's a, it's, it's a segue. It's a, a segue. Yes, but before we were number one. Don't. You? And now we, we need to be powered up just to run. No, why do you always have to put things this way? Why do you always have to do this? You are the one who hasn't changed in that amount of time. Yeah, and I'm proud. No, you're different. But that's the problem. Ugh, <laughs> whatever. The point... You see, I'm looking at this vo the, the good voice acting, the good art style, and I kind of wish we played this directly after Metal Number 9. Wouldn't it be better to like play? Well, the, hmm. I mean, we could play Mighty Number no. Nine after this, considering I have it. Yeah, and I mean, Doctor Light doesn't sound like Elmer Fudd anymore. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, and the girl robot whose name I should know by now. Roll. Robot. Now turn. She doesn't sound like she wants to fall asleep. Or British, or just like randomly British. <laughs> yeah, and and the three D art style works here. Rather, it's they've managed to make a lot of personality. But those background things, are those only three D, or some of those look like two D backgrounds. In the very back, it seems two D. Yeah, they they, they have a the, the right mix of personality. They managed to inject personality in the 3D art style, which, I mean, this this game is showing you how it's done before Mighty Gunvolt Burst came along to show them how it's done. Yeah, well, the the thing is about, the, the thing is about is that they, in this continuity, they don't call him Rock. They call his name is officially Mega, which doesn't just kind of ruins the whole little joke thing and doesn't actually make sense till now. Just yeah, that's stupid. It's a mega bummer. Uh, don't you start talking like See, the, look at like that. the cartoon. The, the, the explosions are in 2D. They know how to, to 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 instead of making ugly pizza roll explosions. Oh boy. Which sucks because we're never getting a game like this again because it came out on the PSP, had terrible marketing, and so it had terrible sales. Yeah, basically, the game's biggest flaw is that it's only one game. I mean, I would have loved a Power of Pluto because, as I said, they give personalities to the Robot Masters as well. And so I'm just like, oh, just the Mega Man 2 Robot Masters, that'd be so cool. But. Can't you like play as them? 
Yeah, you can play as a robot masters if you, if you show mercy to them, which is in this case, do Mega Buster only, which is what I'm doing in these playthroughs anyway, so yeah. You know, to be honest, Gunvolt Burst pretty much is part of 2. It's, it's, a, it's everyone's sequel. In any game you like, the Gunvolt Burst is a sequel to it. You just need to put, put, put Shantae in the game, and then it can be the sequel to Shantae, and the whatever is the last game you like, and put Shovel Knight in it. Because Shantae and Shovel Knight need to be in every video game now. It can be a sequel to Shovel Knight. I mean, the thing is put, that that's... It's somehow they need to be in every video game now, but that's actually pretty cool. Oh yeah, no, I like that. And then they'll just put Jack and Dexter in there. And then it can be the sequel to Jack and Dexter as well. Yeah, but as but in this in this case, um let, okay, just going through something. When in the original doc, Dr. Wiley just stole all of all of the robots that Dr. Uh, Light worked on um, because of their usefulness. However, he d th in this one they specifically focus on the fact that he didn't take rock or roll right? specifically because he thought they were useless. Of course, the, of course, the thing is that he was very capable of taking rock or, or roll, but it, it, when you face him in the final boss, he says that is literally the only mistake he's ever made. For this entire plan, if he just took 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 the took them, then just no, no just he'd win. So he'd have managed to turn them evil. Yeah. I mean, okay. they're not immune like to be, they're not immune to be being reprogrammed. The thing. I mean, Doctor Light should have better security. Well, yeah, his lab is known to everybody and doesn't have any sort of security for us whatsoever. It's th that stupid. As in, even in the comics, doesn't have any security for it whatsoever. Pro pr probably because his funding is just put put swearly into his robotic creations, and he doesn't believe in making weapons. Seems odd because he has robotic creations. He can be a guy without being a weapon. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, now he has Mega Man, so. That's a. But Mega Man's constantly out doing things. No, he's only constantly out doing things when they're. when. well, when Robot. well, actually, it's shown in the comics that he. that, um. even when Robot Masters aren't around, he's out helping during disasters and such. So, yeah, the yeah. only person left to defend Dr. Light is Roll, who he has not upgraded with any weapon system. And she seems content to not have any. Pretty much. Seems seems okay to just keep sweeping. Yeah, I mean, she probably looks at all the dangerous stuff. Ironically, like though, on, yeah, on, on a download, if you get a download code for this game, you can play as Roll, who has a me melee attack with her broom. I'm just like, okay, sure, whatever, fine. But it's interesting because. Depending on who you play as, because as, as we previously said, you can play the, as a robot master in the game, the dialogue with every robot master changes, and I love that. So this was a game that I had a lot of work going to it, and it didn't pay off because the marketing stopped it from getting sales. Yep. It is a like sad, sad too. existence. Ugh. It's... Just so much personality, just all the, all the different... Something I really like in games, just like even if everything else is sort of garbage, I really like when games have multi multiple dialogue options or, um, from like enemies and such, or the, or the protagonist, based off slightly different situations. Just feels more like an organic story. I like how much the stages are begging to be replayed. Yeah, I mean, I do. I the thing is that I like how just a, a lot of your rewards for doing this are actually stage creator tokens instead of incredibly important stuff. Just like if you play this, you can have more stuff to make your own stages. 
So that's cool. So it's pretty much Also, these effect. guys got a... These guys got sort of a buff. As in, they... They're, they can only be hurt while their eyes open. And their eyes only open when they jump, so... Yeah, they can't be... I don't think they can be hurt by them either. But yeah, let's face Cut Man, who... In this case... It's... He has... His personality trip dictates that he's like a little kid. But if you look at the order of which things were made... I'm pretty sure Cutman is like the second industrial based robot master that Dr. Light built. So I'm pretty sure he should be, you know, older. I mean, as I said, the thing is that they don't actually. Yeah, teenage actually robots. Grow. She was built to be um, a teenager. Yeah, so. So nothing's stopping him from yes. being built to be a kid. Um. Okay. He just well, fired a, a, re a Russian no... shuriken or something. What on earth? Yeah, the the bosses have super moves now. So, yeah, can't really take them too lightly. I mean, some of the super moves are really easy to dodge, but uh, yeah, Cutman is not as easy as he was in the original. So. I, made the I'd cut. say, no shame if you do die to him on the first try, but I wonder how many people are actually going to agree with me on that. For me, I... Hmm. Actually, I don't remember what I was about to say. It was related to Cutman. If I keep talking, I remember. Oh yeah, Cutman sounds like a girl. Something that... Oh. Well... Something that I don't like about this game is that weapon energy is extremely limited. It's like they looked at certain Mega Man games and was like, okay, they give you way too much of this really awesome weapon. So let's completely stifle that and give them like nine shots of the Thunder Beam. Which I'm assuming is not enough. Time for a big I mean... You could argue that this makes you play more strategically, but it's just part of the fun is part of the fun is the weapons and how you use them to come to approach different situations. Just I really would like to use some of these weapons, um, but I know I can't afford it for later. I don't think it was. I don't think that this was the intended thing with the whole weapons. Part of the weapons is part of the fun. Well, do you think that maybe they drop weapon energy much more often? No, they give weapon energy almost at just like the same rate that they've always given weapon energy. There's barely anything. There's barely anything special about it. I don't even know why I came down here um, for that enemy pack. I'm not gonna be building any stages. Completion is stick. Sometimes I just feel like going for something. I mean, I guess. The secret police looking good. <sighs> oh yeah, that was a, that was thick, but. Uh, I mean, I forgot to mention Super Plunger, but you did mention his buff. Ah uh, crap! We did forget to remove it. Well, Super Plunger. The the thing is that about Super Plunger, is that. I guess we neglected to say how, in how there's in the intro stage, he was a, a super version, a super powered version of it, um, was the first boss. So they know so he's no matter what, you had to kill him. make him a pseudo boss. Puncher. Well, I mean, from a conceptual standpoint, it seems pretty jerkish to put Super Puncher as your first boss, but. As your first mandatory boss, so they have to kill it, but it's different enough and it's slow enough so that it's not too much of a problem. Yeah, plus it shows your strength. Like always, I'm not that really. No, it doesn't. So as always, spikes insta kill, and but they still 
but unlike Mega Man 1, and I'm glad they took this out, you can fall into spikes um, while in invincibility frames, and it won't kill you instantly. Because that was super annoying in the first game. Yeah, I'm I bet it's happened all the time. Yeah, well, you haven't played any Mega Man games of your own accord. Except this one. Yeah. And this one and you just give up after Gutsman and Time Man, so... I mean, I don't blame you really for the whole Gutsman thing. The Time Man just takes a little bit more perseverance rather than completely godly skills at timing with the If panels. I wanted to get knocked off the stage by a swinging pendulum, I'd go play TikTok Clock in Mario 64. Yeah, I guess. But at the same time, just you—that's not the only thing that would be that would be knocking you off. In fact, that's one of the less likely things to be knocking you off in that stage. Is everything else just out to get you? I said the level so concept for TikTok. You huh? need perfect timing. I hate that you do this. I really do. But the. The thing is with TikTok Clock, is that it's a great level. It's a great level concept and everything, but holy balls, is it annoying! <laughs> just like you get the first star, and it's like okay, that was a huge trek. Um, but that's, but that's fine. And then just each star is still that that perilous trek, and it just seems to be getting longer and higher and more dangerous, and it. Does it stop? Oh well, I don't know about you, but my first star in TikTok luck is always just going right to the red coins. Well, just after that, what else? Oh yeah, his super move is to throw this. Of course, it has. His super move has two animations where he'll try to throw it where you are, or he'll try and bounce it. Of course, me playing this game and dealing with Bomb Man for the first time, at this point, I was completely unaware of that, so that just came out of nowhere and he keeps using it! Yeah, he's, he's just, that's ridiculous. Yeah, and bosses taunt you when you die now. So, there's that. <laughs> but, e either way... There are some robot masters in this game. Just while I appreciate them having, uh, them giving robot masters like ex extra powers or whatever, um, so that you can um, play them in the stages and they'll be completely fine. There are some robot masters in this game that are so worthless to actually be um, played in, actually be playing them in the stages like Oil Man. It is. To say it's hard mode to play as Oil Man is an understatement. It's he, he so, is not built yeah. for this kind of stuff at all. His entire his entire stick is based around contact. His actual his actual actual pellet shooter is the weakest shooter in the game, and it has terrible rate of fire. And, it, as I said, when I say weaker shooter, I mean it's technically somehow in damage calculation weaker than the Mega Buster individual shots. I mean, he is just they, they, shooting they, they oil, I guess, but still. It just. They, they, they clearly designed him around his power. Yeah, I mean, they did a terrible job of it. Also, they had to, they had to change the the color of it uh, they had to change the color of his um lips because they thought he was a ri because people took it as a well i'm not sure if people took it or or standard practices were like this looks like a racial stereotype in fact in the comics they forgo that entirely and just give him a scarf that completely covers his mouth all the time which ironically makes him way cooler despite the fact that he's a pun love pun loving idiot <laughs> 